Greetings, hope I find you well and your family. Today we are going to look into differentiation, a new chapter which was introduced in IGC SE Extended. Uh, this chapter is a chapter from those who are doing um, uh, AS Mathematics as well as those who are doing um, advanced, that's advanced subsidian, okay, and also those who are doing additional meds, but now it is also part and parcel of IGCSE meds. All right, so let's begin. Differentiation is a method that is used to find the gradient of nonlinear graphs. For example, if you're given a graph in this manner, this is the XY diagram, and on this XY diagram, we are given a curve. And we have to find the gradient of this curve. All right. Remember, to find the gradient of a straight line is easy. Just say y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But because the gradient of a straight line at any point is uniform, but the gradient of this curve is kept on changing. So we have to find the derivative with respect to x. Okay, so the first thing I want to teach you how to go, uh, go about it. For example, we are given y is equals to a, a is in any numerical value, x to the power of n. How do you differentiate this? You say dy over dx, which means the derivative of x with respect, uh, derivative of y with respect to x will be equal to n times a, which is n a, then you say x, then n minus 1. Okay, I want you to compare and contrast with what I'm going to write on the other side of the board. All right, suppose you are given y is equal to 2x squared. How are you going to differentiate it? There we didn't use numbers, but now we're using numbers. All right, so we'll say dy over dx is equal to 2 times 2, this power multiplied by the, in, uh, the coefficient in x, which is 2, so it gives you 4 x then 2 minus 1 obviously you end up having 4x so that is the answer so that's how you go about it in the differentiation all right let's look at another number maybe which is with the square root suppose you're given a number in this form differentiate with respect to x 4 y is equals to 4 over the root of x. I'm sure you understand from indices that the root of x is the same as x to the power of half. So we can rewrite this as this is 4 over x to the power of half. In paying respect that this power, this number can go on onto the numerator and it becomes 4x to the power of minus half. So this is what we have now and this is easy to differentiate. Now let's differentiate it by saying dy over dx is equals to minus 4 minus half times 4 gives you minus 2 then x to the power of minus half minus 1. Okay, just imagine when you have minus half plus 1, what is minus half plus 1? Minus half plus 1. It's like we are saying minus 1 over 2 minus 2 over 2 so this will give you minus 1 minus 2 you get 3 over 2 which is minus 3 over 2 so that's the number that you're going to get so the final number the final answer is minus 2x to the power of minus 3 over 2 that is the answer so everything is coming from this formula or this method and you impose it on numbers now Let's do the last example before I give you work to do. Okay, so the next thing now is 6x to the power of 5. y is equals to 6x to the power of 5. Okay, plus 5x. All over 4x, x to the power of 4. Okay, so the first thing is to make this a non-fractional equation. The first thing is to make this a non-fractional equation. 
how is that possible we can divide by 4 throughout because we know this is the same as 6x to the power of 5 over x to the power of 4 is the same thing plus 5x over x to the power of 4 again so this can get into that this can get also into that so we know that when we have 4 x to the power of 4 into x to the power of 5 we only have x only so this results as 6x all right i hope you got this one right so plus x to the power of 4 into x obviously to give us a minus so we end up having a minus which is to the power minus 3 right 5 x to the power of minus 3 so the x is only getting into x not only the numbers x is getting to x and x is getting to x so now we can differentiate this by saying dy over dx is equal to the derivative of this is the same as the, the number which is 1 here which we don't write so it's like we're saying 1 times 6 it remains 6 okay 1 times 6 remains 6 then we have minus 3 times 5 is minus 15 x to the power of minus 3 minus 1 which is minus 4 so this is the final answer i hope you got it right thank you for joining we'll see you next time